I'm excited with Father's Day on the horizon. Why not go all out to impress with a simple yet luxurious dinner option? Now, you're hoping Lucy's watching in on this one. I, there's not a hope in hell Lucy's going to cook these steaks, but I, can, I live in hope. <laughs> the steaks can be high when home cooking for a special occasion. But Joe Shannon is here to show us how it's done. Good morning Good to you, Joe. Good morning, Joe. how God, are I we? haven't seen you in months. Well, I've, I've been away, yeah, I know, I've been yeah. missing you so much, uh, but thanks for all of your lovely texts and thank everything. You, thank so you, thank so absolutely much. Absolutely beautiful. So, Father's Day, yes, a and, nice steak. And that, yeah, and, and, you know, of course, you can go for your fillet steaks, your ribeye steaks, all that sort of stuff, because we have fantastic beef in this country, mm -hmm. because the beauty of our beef is, because it rains so much, our grass is really rich, yeah. and our cattle are grass-fed, which means that it meets, the meat itself is just fantastic, you know? So what I'm actually going to do, or proposing to do, for Father's Day, is a beautiful Chateaubriand. So if you can think about, you know, the, the fillet steak, all right? A fillet steak is a, is a joint of meat that is basically placed behind the ribcage of, of, the, of the animal, and it's divided into three sections. So you have the head of the fillet is what we call the Chateaubriand. When you get a steak, a fillet steak in the restaurant, nine times out of ten, it will come from the middle of the fillet, oh, right. which is the turnado. And then if you have something like a beef stroganoff, that will come from the tail end of the fillet, which is called a fillet mignon. So that's, um, is it less in price then, or is this more expensive? Is this the most Chateau expensive? Uh, expensive uh, fillet, yeah. fillet of beef is very expensive. You're talking, depending on your butcher that you go to, you're talking about 40 euros a kg. Do you know, wow. my yeah. wife would be petrified because you're buying the best with the Chateau yes. Brown, so she'd be petrified she'd cook it wrong. But this yeah. looks quite easy, though. So you're... Uh, well, a, a nice well, little, uh, uh, um, I suppose, little trick when you're cooking steak. If you Hold your hand up there, right? Oh, you've done this before. It's and get the, your, yeah. put your finger there. Yeah. yeah, That's rare. When you feel that, that's rare. So you, if you apply that tenderness to the meat as it's cooking, that's rare. Just you said the, you like it rare. Me medium rare. So what's right, medium so go rare? to your next finger. There's your medium rare. If All your meat right. feels like that, that's medium rare. rare. Are you feeling that's your medium me. rare? I'm feeling a bit medium. And then <laughs> go to your next. We're getting, we're getting near to Alan here. We're getting there. <laughs> go to our medium. So you're literally like a fist medium. and that's Alan. Uh, uh, medium well. <laughs> Well done, and this is Alan. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Smack it off the table. Yeah. <laughs> Not that bad. Not that bad. Seriously. So I have some lovely Irish rapeseed oil into a hot pan. We have a fillet, and the beauty when you go to your local butcher is he will trim the meat for you. All right? OK. But are you're searing it. Are you going yeah, to sear it? Yeah, I need it? to seal it first, but a little bit of fat going through it is good. That's what we call marbling, and this is really, really good. So onto a hot pan, and basically... You hear the sizzle, yeah, right? Okay. And that's what you're looking for, is that lovely sizzle. And as it's sizzling away, we season it with salt and pepper. Very, very simple. And then we turn it to get it on all sides. We want oh, it nicely yeah. sealed. Now, if we were doing this in real time, we must probably give it four or five minutes. And then when it's fully sealed, I go in with some lovely Dijon mustard. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, you could use a whole grain mustard as well, not a problem. Oh, so you do this at this stage? Yep, okay. so get your mustard all smothered over the steak, which is beautiful, just like so. And that doesn't take away from the taste? No, nope. it enhances the flavour, okay. if anything else. Right. So you cover all your fillet with that, and that would then go into an oven of about 190 degrees, and you're talking about, you know, depending how long you want to cook it for, depending how good your oven is, you know, you, you, you apply that scenario, but for a rare, you're, you're talking about 15 minutes. Even for a big steak like yeah. that, would it not... 15 minutes? Be, yeah, but would, for a rare. Would it be hard to try and do that testing no, no, system? No, no, that's a very, really? very simple test. Wow, OK. Now, if you don't, if you're not you'd confident... you see the blood about, running out of it anyway, you would, just sort of give it a uh, Yeah, but you decide, if you have one of those food <laughs> thermometers and you want it yeah. rare, you're talking about 55 degrees okay. and so forward, you keep going. So with it, we want to get a nice sauce. So here I have boiling is some white wine and some tarragon vinegar, okay. all right? And I just put a bit of fresh bit of tarragon in there and some shallots, which are beautiful, all right? I have some egg yolks into a pan of water, and then we just strain this through. You want that to boil, so you reduce it down to get more flavour into it. And then I have some butter, and we go whisking. So no calories in this at all, then? Oh, not a bit. It's Father's Day. So We're this not is like melting melt melt chocolate, kind of, <laughs> yeah, that you're doing the, your, your... But what you're doing is you're cooking the, the egg now, while, while I'm at. Okay, and right. then, 
by using, when you let your, you melt your butter and let it settle, do you see the What's bottom that there? That's the bottom of the butter. That's the impurities of the butter. No way. Yeah. What do you mean the impurities of so the butter? So it's all like all the goodness is in the top and the impurities are in the bottom. So the best bit is that sort of clear piece that you see at the top. All right? And then what we do is we just pour that in like so. Should you not be straining the impurities out then? Well, I'm just taking it from the top. You can see you the see? impurities you can see still it in the it hasn't corner gone there, in. yeah. No, it hasn't gone in. And that's basically our sauce done. And that's we finish it. it. That's it. And we finish it then with some lovely fresh chopped tarragon. So in that's there. Bernays sauce made, yeah. as simple as that. Please eat that before it goes cold then. Let, let, let the oh. viewers know what you think of it. Just tell and Lucy then, that's how easy it's done. That's, I'm going to be... So <laughs> basically, we're, we're talking, you know, whatever length of time you want to cook it for, we come with it after. Oh. And this is what we end up with, is a beautiful piece of meat. Wow, oh, wow, look at wow, that. And what you want to do that. is let it rest for about four or five minutes before you carve it in real time. Do you, oh, should you always let meat yeah, rest? rest? And another little trick as well is never cook meat straight from the fridge. Always oh, leave yeah, it out always for a leave it out. To get yeah. the temperature. Right. So I have a fondant potato to go with it. I have wow. some beautiful... Do you know, the nice Dijon is bread. really nice on the outside oh, of it. Isn't mm. it? It's like a crust almost. And what do you think of the Bernays? Oh, delicious. So it's, you know, if you want to do a nice pepper sauce or a whiskey sauce with it, not a problem in the world. Mm. And then we will go carving here. Just to get you a nice little look. Wow. Oh, oh, oh now do you that. like it oh, like that's that. Very yeah. What do you like? So that's got about... That's kind of like the minutes. middle finger there, is yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't show me your middle just, finger. <laughs> the middle finger. I don't want to see that <laughs> behaviour. Alan, well, if you touch that, you'll be getting the middle, <laughs> middle finger. Oh, look at that. Now, if you had smell it, if you, I'm saying nothing at all. <laughs> and then we go in with that lovely sauce. Wow. And there you have it. Mm. You know? Look at that. Could you ask for anything better for your daddy? Oh, God, it tastes absolutely delicious. Isn't that beautiful? I can live in hope this Pop, weekend. Put the <laughs> little pea shoots around it, and there we go. Should wow. bring it to a nice restaurant. We'll see. No, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Joe, that was absolutely delicious. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We're just stuffing our faces here. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very mm, much for that. Beautiful. Beautiful.